Imperial College does lots of great biomedical research. The reason that we are here is to make sure that the animals used in those projects get the best care and welfare they can. We have 65 staff in CBS. They range from junior technicians to advanced technicians. We have named vets, we have administration staff and we're all here to work with the scientists in helping them with their research. The animals that we use at Imperial are mainly mice. We also use some rats and we have a few rabbits. We also use zebrafish at Imperial. I'm a CBS uh, senior technician. I liaise between the technicians, the licensees, even the home office. A part of my job is being an aqua, which is a named animal and care welfare officer. So we do the daily duties, look after the animals. As long as they've got food, water, plenty of bedding, something to play with, you can usually keep them fairly happy. You've got to try and keep it as realistic as it is to if they were in the outside well. Something to hide in, something to play with, something to chew on, and obviously bedding to do the rest of the business on. The facilities at Imperial College are of a very high quality. We have new individually ventilated cages for the animals and we have state-of-the-art equipment in our cage wash areas, which is robotics. I think we have to use animals in research to answer some very important questions, to understand uh, the mechanisms of human disease as an example. When we consider using animals in research, this is done very, very carefully and only if there are no alternatives to that. It's very tightly regulated, appropriately so, so we justify at all stages the scientific reason and the rationale for doing those experiments. My research is trying to understand ways in which the kidney gets damaged by a group of proteins that we all have and are very important in fighting infection. And in some individuals, these proteins start to attack the kidney and uh, this can result in such severe damage to the kidney that uh, individuals need to go on to kidney replacement therapy, dialysis, uh, and in some cases actually need kidney transplantation. I modelled one of the kidney diseases in mice and the insights that we got from studying the mice told us exactly which protein was causing the damage in the kidney. And trials have produced astonishingly effective results and patients now who suffer from this condition, uh, their lives are transformed uh, and they seldom go into kidney failure as before. The key consideration when I'm considering doing an animal experiment is can I get that information, answer that scientific question in any other way without using an animal model? When the answer is no, then the key concerns are can I establish that model, animal model without causing distress to the, to the animals and using as few animals as possible to answer the question? And it's very important that also during the period of research uh, we're aware of other techniques that may be developing such that at some point it may no longer be necessary to use animal models. That's something we call replacement uh, to answer or even uh, carry on looking at that research question. They get a bad rap, the rats. Everyone thinks they're a, a vermin, but they're actually quite intelligent. Aren't you guys? Go on then.